Hello, Art One. I'm going to go over what you're doing in Schoology today. So today in Schoology, you're going to be going, you're going to be filling out a form that says Watercolor Project Critique, only if you're done with your project. So the first step is complete your watercolor project. The second step says when you are done with your project, click here to fill out the critique. Watch the video below for more information about the critique. So by the time you're watching this video, there will be a video underneath step number two that you can go back and refer to if you need help with the form. And then it says step three, answer the discussion question below if you did not attend the Zoom meeting for Art 1. If you did attend the Zoom meeting that day, you don't have to answer this question. Um, let's click on the form. So we click and then it takes us to this form. Any second, there we go. Watercolor critique. Fill out this form and tell me two glows and a grow for your watercolor project. So you're gonna um, fill out your last name, first name, class period. And then you're gonna say, you're gonna um, read this question and answer in a complete sentence. It says, glow, tell me one thing you did well on your watercolor project. Here are examples. One thing I did well on my watercolor project was blank. I think I did a good job with blank because blank. So um, in these examples, you are talking about what you did well in your project. You can talk about the colors that you chose, that you chose um, the colors from a color scheme and you stuck with them. You can talk about your shape. You really like the way that your shape turned out, the way that you painted, your time management, behavior. It could be anything that you thought you did well during this watercolor project. The next question says, grow. Tell me one thing you could do to improve your project. Um, and again, there are examples down here. This is where you're gonna tell me what you could have done differently or what you can improve on. It could be the way that you painted, the colors that you chose, if you kind of did things kind of messy and didn't take your time, if you rushed, um, if you started too late or you didn't use your time wisely, anything like that. And then the last question, tell me one more thing you did, tell, tell me one more thing you did well on your watercolor project. So again, telling me something else that you have done well on your project. I guess this isn't the last question, this is the third question, sorry. After this, what grade would you give yourself for your project? You're gonna grade yourself, tell me what you think you got. A 100 to a 90, 89 to an 80, 79 to a 70, or 69 to a 60. So this last option right here is a failing grade. So you're going to tell me um, what grade you think you deserved, and I will factor that into your grade um, whenever I'm grading your project. And then it says, tell me why you chose the grade above. So you got to tell me why you chose that grade, and that's the last question. And that's it. Um, this is not going to be due until Monday, but there are a lot of students who are finished with their projects, so I figured that I would give you this assignment for today if you're done. If you're not done, you can just keep working on your project and then come back to this and try it in by this Monday uh, once you are done painting. If you have any questions, let me know.